and thank you again for joining me on this new episode of Star Trek The Original Series. <laughs>
can't be dead. This is pleasant. Or just as deadly. So how did he not see the difference between real human tissue uh, from Finnegan and from this blonde with beautiful hair? I mean, he touched her. The other guy knocked his lights out, so he must have seen they were not human, right? What's going on? I was thinking about the Academy. My days. If what I was thinking while I'm taking a stroll out in the country materialized, I would be so fucked. He's almost losing his shirt. For example, when Rodriguez thought of the tiger. Don't talk. Lieutenant Isulu. What happened to Joe the other Barrow? girl? And Mr. Spock explain the death. My ship surgeon. Right. Possibly because no one has died here. <laughs> <laughs> rather remarkable repair. It's amazing. <laughs> They've got a back to the Oh, my you core. You're never going to change. Or do anything. Immediate. On the other hand, I'll stay for a day. A day or two. I had walked back to one. What did he do? Okay, so let's unpack again. So this is like a feel happy kind of episode. A lot of novels references, um, many of the ancient things like, you know, Alice in Wonderland or a princess or a knight in armor. Um, there were so many different things, like a mashup thing here going. Uh, suddenly a tiger, suddenly a samurai, suddenly a giant fucking rabbit, like, what? I like how the, the episodes, some of the episodes start getting us, like, a very confusing, uh, context, or no context at all, and then things start to fall into place, but at first you go like, whoa, what was I smoking? So, yeah, it's, it's kind of fun. This, this episode's become so much more fun when they start like this, definitely. I don't think of this episode to be that deep, except of uh, our perception of reality, but this really doesn't go that dwell into what the perception of reality is. At first we thought it was a hallucination, but it turned out that those hallucinations can feel pretty real. But once you understand that this is all about controlling your thoughts, then you can just have as much fun as you want, like McCoy did in the end. He didn't die. He started to have fun, you know. So, um, yeah, it's kind of interesting to explore the idea of uh, what would happen if you were in one of those places. Like I said twice while I was reacting, there's no way you would want me there. And all of you Lovecraft fans, please, stay out of this planet. I don't know, I mean, probably if you really want to have a good time and you learn to control uh, your thoughts and all, there will be so many things that I would like to see for real. Like, Carl Urban, Justin H. Me. Like I said, this is a happy episode, I really enjoyed it. It kind of reminded me a bit of uh, The Naked Time, that it was that kind of happy episode and everything starts going off the rails and you really don't know what to think. And even though we had like a tragic moment here, there's a part of myself saying, no way, Dr. McCoy cannot be dead, obviously. And finally, seeing a woman going batshit crazy because, you know, her guy died, finally. So next episode is Season 1, Episode 16, The Galileo 7. And I am really looking forward to this one because you guys voted, uh, I think, a little more on this one. I remember seeing it quite often on my comments. The title itself is quite enigmatic, so I definitely am looking forward to watch this one. Anyway, thank you again for joining me. God bless, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.